Good morning creators, today we got the announcement for the Fortnite Mares callout and I'm going to explain why this is a big deal. In past callouts, they've revealed secrets about the following season, so a couple seasons ago they had the combat callout which asked for no build maps before they even announced no build. And the music callout released a bunch of new devices like the VFX creator and the video player. So this callout could add new devices or hint towards the future. Uh, obviously, Fortnite Mirrors is approaching, so that's a given. But there might be a few secrets. In fact, there's a, s a couple secrets. So this is actually the island um, near the sanctuary, about like off the south coast. Uh, and you notice this guy's playing an acoustic guitar. We don't have that yet. So this is going to be a new moat, most likely. Uh, also, these broken umbrellas are kind of suspicious. Um, of course, this could always just be an edited, uh, an edited photo, but it's possible we're going to get some of these things. So I'm just going to read through it and see if there's any hints towards what we're getting. Um, the time has come to start thinking about the season of scares. Will you, f will you fright and delight players or create the most eclectic Halloween party experience for your friends to enjoy? Have your players survive scary environments, solve spooky puzzles, or feel overwhelming dread in asymmetric PvP, or come up with something truly new and scary. Make your best Fortnite Nightmares themed islands by utilizing recently released devices, and your island can be featured in Discovery during this year's Fortnite Nightmares. Now, usually recently released refers to like recent devices, but um, the only recent devices we've gotten are like the level instance and the player tracker. Not player tracker, whatever the new thing is called, and there's not much recently released, so I feel like we might be getting some new devices to work with this Fortnite Miss callout. Uh, one of the potential things they talked about in the music callout was maybe a transition device. Uh, not sure how that would work, but uh, we could probably get something. Uh, Fortnite Mirrors is about enjoying the fun vibe of the season, not high combat. Of the season. So, the fun vibe of the season could be, you know, we might have another vibe in season, but that's, that's not very likely. I feel like next season could be like a chapter 2, season 8, part 2, um, if the Bloom Watcher is the Cube Queen like many people think. Um, please stay on theme by following design guidelines below. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Uh, so we have all the guidelines here. Many, player, many new players arrive each year for Fortnite Mares. Help learn them into your islands by making sure your island is clear and understandable for new players to really sink their fangs into. Old scares just don't scare like they used to, so be sure to make use of the new devices and mechanics added in 2022. So there were jumpy haunted houses with a prop manipulator, great terrifying caves with a level instance device, and encourage your visitors to spring, slide, and mantle over obstacles to get away from all the scary monsters and other creative creatures you can come up with. So, it sounds like we might not be getting new vices, but we can find out soon. Um, I still think we are going to get some, especially since 2.0 is approaching. But it sounds like, since they're really emphasizing the old devices, that we aren't getting 2.0 until after this event. So, I would think 2.0 is going to release maybe in November or December. I would say probably mid-November. Be creative with eliminations. Have your players fall victim to zombies, get lost in a maze during a storm, and meet their demise in other creative ways. Games don't have to be about eliminations, but bring that tension and drama into your island. Bring the scary energy to your island however you can, but feel free to bring your own spin on Fortnite Nightmares. Zombie dance party, haunted houses, and creepy corn mazes are always fun, but evolve and remix them for your own personal vision of Fortnite Nightmare. Of a Fortnite Nightmare. Be unique with your content and design for the best chance to be featured. And they have the basic criteria. Um, I think this is just good criteria for any maps. If you if you really want to consider creating maps, I definitely recommend you read over this. I'm going to link this blog post in the, uh, in the description, so if you want to check this out. Or you can just Google Fortnite blog articles and you can find this pretty easily. Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like this callout is going to bring a lot of cool devices. Um, I would expect more particles and maybe some new sounds, because usually they add new sounds for every Fortnite Mares. Um, so 
we'll see we'll see what they do but i feel like in tomorrow's update we'll get some sort of information or at least a couple updates so that creators can start getting to work on their maps so expect to see some new Fortnite Nightmares updates tomorrow.